Okay, let's continue my review series with Sonic Riders Zero Gravity, sequel to Sonic Riders. Alright, so, the, the setup for this game is that these meteors fall from the sky, which are shaped like rings, and they bring a bunch of security robots to life, which then go rogue and try to take over the world. Um, there's some intrigue involving an ancient civilization, Robotnik actually running a major multinational corporation, aka Lex Luthor, and, um, and, oh yeah, a black hole that almost destroys the entire world. Uh, I thought that was a pretty interesting story, but, you know, I don't think a lot of people really care about this game because Mario Kart Wii came out a few weeks later, and, of course, everybody just loves to get down on their knees and for, for Mario. Alright, so, the game opens with them in their little flying car when they get attacked by robots doing a pretty faithful reenactment of the tunnel scene from iRobot. Uh, even, you know. Also, there's a, I guess there's a little bit of a PSA about buckling your seatbelt, which is demonstrated right here. You see Knuckles? You gotta buckle up. And of course, just like iRobot, the robots uh, latch onto the car and fight on the hood. You know, that, okay, enough iRobot comparisons. I, I, I like that movie, okay? Uh, that's why I'm mentioning it. Okay, so as Sonic goes careening to his death, the gimmick of the of the of of this game is revealed in your ability to control gravity. In the previous game, it was compressed air. Here, it's bending the laws of physics to your will. Right, I I thought it was pretty cool. Um, yeah, it, it's a cool game. I really do like it. The character selection is. Pretty similar to the previous game, except they added Amigo and Billy Hatcher. Uh, they kept knights. I like knights. <clears throat> um, they also added Blaze and Silver. You know, it, it, it's a good selection, and every character has their own stats. It, I, I really do like this character selection. Um, now, as for the gameplay itself, look at when I jump off this ramp. The stunt is decided solely by pushing the A button. The control stick no longer factors, which I think is a slight detriment. Also, there's no accelerate button, no simple boost. This confuses a lot of new players. Instead, you get this whole gravity flight power, which allows you to rebound off objects, and it does look cool. Also, the 90 degree turns are, are improved too, by actually slowing down time, and, but with a miniature black hole, and it allows you to aim your move better, I guess. Of course, you still have flight rings and rails and punching through shit, but you don't get these straight off the bat. When everyone starts the race, they're on an even keel. They don't have their unique um, movement powers. You have to collect rings to upgrade your gear, and that's how you are able to use flight rings, rails, and punch through things. So, that's pretty much Zero Gravity in a nutshell. Let's move on to the next game for the week, which of course is Sega Superstars Tennis! Haha! <laughs> Alright. Yes, I'm going to include Sega Superstars Tennis as a Sonic game because he's prominently featured in the cover and frankly was the only reason I bought this game. Uh, I don't normally play sport games, but I will tolerate it on the Wii because you, the motion sensitive controls actually make me feel like I'm doing something other than sitting on a couch pretending I'm badass when all I'm moving is my thumbs. So this game actually gets all your iconic Sega characters and puts them together. They're, they're gonna do Sega, Sonic and Sega Superstars Racer. Um, Alright, let's, let's just get this out of the way. Yes, Mario did this first. Ooh, Mario did it first, therefore he's the only one that's allowed to do this ever. Therefore this game automatically sucks. There, trolls, I already said it for you. Alright, so basically this is just a tennis game and Sonic is obviously featured prominently. Uh, you can unlock more characters. Um, I don't know. I, I, I should pick this game up more often. I actually haven't unlocked much. Uh, gameplay is pretty tennis. It's a, it's a tennis game. You you play tennis. That's pretty much what it is. Uh, every time you do good, that little star you're standing in gets more and more filled in. And uh, once it fills up, I'll show you what you can do. Um, unfortunately, the motion-sensitive controls aren't always used. Uh, some of them use the classic control setup, which I find much more unintuitive and therefore unenjoyable. Um, I can't imagine playing this game on a system besides the Wii, because 
I, I never enjoy sports games on other systems. Alright, so once that star fills up, you get to transform. In Sonic's case, he transforms into Super Sonic. And then the gameplay becomes incredibly broken. Har har har. Yeah, um, yeah, there's not much to say about this. It's just a simple tennis game. It's okay.